What's up, Food Beast? Today we were challenged to make the best recipe using chicken wings. Here's what we made. Okay, this is how you make the best foolproof chicken wings. So prep your chicken wing by separating the drumstick from the wing, remove the tail, lay them flat, and make sure they're thoroughly dried. Go ahead and dry them multiple times, they have to be super dry. Season with the spices on the screen, adding cornstarch and baking powder, oil, and mix that in thoroughly. Baking powder and starch are gonna make these super crispy. Lay your wings on a hot oil baking tray. Bake for a total of 50 minutes, slipping halfway through. Once they're done, they should sound like this. For the sauce, combine sriracha, honey, sesame seeds, and white vinegar. Mix thoroughly and add to a hot pan. Bring to a boil and let it simmer on low for four minutes, then drizzle it onto your hot chicken wings. Garnish with green onion and sesame if you like, and they're ready to eat. These chicken wings were better than any chicken wings I've ever ordered from a shop. And they weren't even that hard to make. Enjoy! What's up guys, Pete here. Today we're making Big Mac stuffed chicken wings, drawing inspiration from my favorite Canadian, Josh Elkin. You're gonna want everything that goes into a Big Mac here. Beef, onions, cheese, pickles, lettuce, Big Mac sauce, and sesame seeds. First, I take some full chicken wings and debone them. To make the stuffing, I sauteed some onions and added ground beef. Once the beef is cooked, add a few generous slices of American cheese to get them nice and coated. Now to stuff your wings. Carefully add your beef stuffing into the folds of your chicken wings. Toss your wings in dredge and seasoned flour and deep fry them until they're golden brown. While the wings are frying, you're going to want to make the Big Mac sauce. Add together some mayonnaise, mustard, paprika, garlic powder, sweet relish, white wine vinegar, and barbecue sauce and whisk it all together. Once the wings are done, you're going to start plating. Fill an empty Big Mac container you found at the swap meet with shredded lettuce. Then slice up your wings and start stacking them like McNuggets. For the sauce, I took a jack-in-the-box thing of teriyaki and emptied it out, filling it with my new Big Mac sauce. Garnish your wings with pickles and sesame seeds and take a bite. It tasted like a mouthful of Big Macs and McNuggets, which isn't bad. 6 out of 10. What's up, food beast? This is Gary from Bite Me Barbecue, and I'm going to show you how to do my smoked buffalo barbecue wings. Let's get it. So you want to pat your chicken wings nice and dry with some paper towel. Then we're going to coat them in one tablespoon of baking powder and some Traeger Grills pork and poultry rub, a good generous amount. And we're going to lay them out on a cooling rack and get them in the fridge for an hour to an hour and a half. This will help crisp up the skin when you cook them. We have our Traeger set to 180 degrees. We're going to run it at that for about half an hour and then cranking them to 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to flip them and then another 15 minutes. Well, the last 15 minutes they're cooking, we're making up our sauce. We have half a cup of butter, half a cup of Frank's buffalo sauce, a quarter cup of Traeger Q Traeger barbecue sauce, and two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Bring that up to a simmer, mix it up. Your wings are nice and crispy now. Dump that sauce on there, mix them up, toss them, and then we're plating. Plate them up with some celery carrots. Hope you enjoy these as much as I do. Mmm, delicious. Cheers. We're gonna make pumpkin spice wings on pumpkin spice waffles. We're gonna take our pumpkin mix, dump that in, egg, a little bit of butter, and some water. And we're gonna go ahead and whisk that bad boy up, break the yolk. It's hard to do the one. I know. <laughs> this isn't working super well. <laughs> make sure you hit your waffle iron with uh, some fat or some spray fat. <laughs> Make sure you put my and spoon them in. Maybe get a little. Oh my god, I almost stuck my finger in there to touch it. <laughs> We're gonna do a real quick season with some pepper, some salt, and <laughs> take the chicken wing and just douse it in the batter. So the final step is once you have them all coated in batter, we're going to dredge them a little bit more just to make sure they're nice and coated. Make sure they've got lots of pumpkin spice powder all over. Mm. When they're nice and golden brown, I'll go ahead and take them out, throw them in a bowl with a paper towel. We're going to go ahead and drizzle some honey on top and then hit it with the chili flakes to make it a little bit spicy. Ooh, Ooh, look at the chicken, it's so crispy. I know, right? <laughs> Honestly, this wing is delicious. Ooh, it's spicy too. Like, it hit me in the lips. 
I'm giving y'all some tempura wings and some honey wasabi glaze. Yes, sir. Let's go. You're going to get some cornstarch and place it in a large resealable plastic bag. Now, if you are not seasoning your batter, you're doing it all wrong. So I'm going to show you how. Now, you're going to start off with some garlic powder and then some white pepper and then throw in some cayenne. Get some three large eggs and lightly beat them. Add chicken wings a few at a time and coat evenly with the cornstarch. Shake it up, vibe out, feel good, whatever you want to do because you about to have some good wings. Remember that. Now dip the coated chicken wings in the eggs. And now let's go fry these wings. Make sure the oil in your pan is heated to at least 375 degrees. And you're gonna fry these wings for about eight minutes or until golden brown and juices run clear, turning occasionally. Now when those chicken wings are done frying, you want to let that chill on some paper towels while you go work on this honey wasabi glaze. Now go ahead and take your favorite small saucepan, place that thing on medium high heat, and stir together three tablespoons of mirin, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of soy sauce, two tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of finely chopped peeled ginger root, and two teaspoons of wasabi paste. Bring it to a boil. Now remember your friends, the chicken wings chilling on the side. What you're gonna do is make them link up with this honey wasabi glaze, toss them around, make sure they're evenly coated and beautiful looking. Now top that off with some furikake and you got yourself a situation that is ready to be dug into tempura wings and a honey wasabi glaze y'all i am telling you it's the truth enjoy what's up food beast this week we're challenged to make the best recipe using chicken wings and i made some sweet savory spicy taiwanese three cup chicken wings I made one pound of chicken wings chicken wing and water in the pot and then heat to medium high we're gonna wait until the water boils six slices of ginger i feel five cloves of garlic I cup two red chilies i like to soak it in some cold water so it doesn't get too spicy one cup of fresh basil i'm using thai basil but use whatever basil you can find it's boiling we're gonna turn off the heat run it under cold water and then pat dry I'm on six tablespoons of sesame oil how we're gonna add in our ginger and garlic fry the ginger and garlic for two to three minutes or until fragrant we're gonna add in our chicken wings for two to three minutes or until golden brown on both sides add in a cup of soy sauce, one cup of Chinese cooking wine, three tablespoons of sugar. Together, make sure all the chicken is soaked in the sauce. All right, and put it on medium high heat for five to seven minutes. Five to seven minutes, this is what your chicken should be looking like. And our chili, and in our Thai basil. I'll tie everything together on high heat for one minute. Got that glaze. Now look at that. All right, guys, comment down below which one was your favorite recipe.